Hi, my name is Ken Luzinski. I work for Euromarine in Newport, Rhode Island. We're the manufacturer's rep for Carver Systems, and we're here on Key Biscayne today testing top-down furling with a Carver KSF2 uh, furler on a J105. And uh, the sale we have up right now is a unmodified A2 spinnaker. The beauty of this furling system is that one furler can do everything. You can uh, use it for all your A sails as well as code zeros. You just need a separate anti-torsion rope uh, for each sail. The anti-torsion rope we're using is a Marlowe Pro Drive torsion line. This particular one was finished by West Marine in Newport by their rigging department and seems to work quite well at, at a reasonable price. The other nice thing about this system is that it's great for cruisers because they can furl and unfurl from the, the safety of the cockpit. They don't have to wrestle around with a snuffer sock and come up on deck to snuff the sail. There's less windage uh, when the sail is furled and it's much easier to get back down on deck. So that's sort of the appeal for the cruisers. For uh, offshore sailing, short-handed offshore sailing, again, it's a much easier system to hook up sheets to and get hoisted. It's not as heavy as the sock and the collar and it's also much safer in the sense that you can furl it up from the safety of the cockpit and if you can't get up right away to get it down because it's not safe, it can stay up for a while and, and not damage the sail. New for 2012, Carver's line of top-down spinnaker furlers as well as their Code Zero furlers come equipped with a locking drum. This enables you to furl with one line only, as opposed to non-locking, you need to keep control of both lines. Plus, you don't run the risk of auto unfurling uh, in the case that the furling line hasn't been cleated off, which is a very nice feature. The critical part of the system working right is having enough tension on the anti-torsion rope. If what you want to have happen is when you turn the drum at the bottom, that the swivel at the top turns at the same time. Sort of one turn for one turn. Equal. If, equal. if you have too many turns at the bottom, you get a lot of uh, twist in the line, and then the top of the sail will roll up too tight, and the bottom of the sail will be too loose. Okay. And is that this green line that we're seeing here? The green line we're looking at here is an adjustable tack line. So if you're, you know, if it's a cruising application, you can probably just have the tack of the spinnaker lash directly to the swivel on the drum. If you have a racing application, and you're sailing deep downwind, especially with an A2 like this, you want to be able to ease the tack line off to sort of get the kite to, to cant out to windward. What you want to do is turn the boat pretty deep downwind and ease the sheet considerably until you see the top of the sail start to furl. Once it starts to furl, then you want to control the sheet and not allow too much cloth to get forward and, and overlap into the rope as it rolls up. And then you'll get a nice tight roll like we have here. So as you can see, the head of the sail is lashed to our lashing thimble, and we've overlapped the ring up into the thimble to help it turn a little better. Uh, as I mentioned before, this is an unmodified A2. If you're building a new sail, you might go with a softer head patch and some webbing at the top here as opposed to the ring, which I think would help it work a little better. Uh, but it works pretty nicely as it is. Then the beauty of this Marlowe Pro Drive torsion rope is that instead of having to uh, splice it, we can just stitch it with a sewing machine, which is nice. We've left it uncovered for uh, purposes of this photo shoot, but we probably will cover it with a clear shrink wrap so we can monitor the stitching over time just to make sure it's holding up nicely and to give it a better finished look. Here we demonstrate how easy it is to get the furled sail on deck compared to a conventional snuffer sock. We'll then switch to an unmodified A3 reacher, which has a very similar shape to that of a typical cruising spinnaker. Then we'll demonstrate how easy it is to use the system.